Hey guys, so today we are finally finishing Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode three. I know it took me a couple days to get to it, but I'm ready today, I'm in my comfy clothes. What is gonna happen to Rachel and Rachel's mom? Let's just get into it, guys. Whew. You guys, I ate this chocolate, like, protein bar. I do not feel that good. <laughs> it was way too much chocolate. All right, so last time we left off, we were asked by Rachel to break into her dad's office so we could get information Hello? about Sarah, um, which is Rachel's mom. Oh wait, the dog's chewing on a toy. I just realized <laughs> you guys can probably hear that, can't you? Luca, can you do that outside of this room? Please. I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. Okay. Let's see. We got a crime report. Ooh, Arcadia this is kind of... base, least wanted. Kind of sketchy because, um, what if her dad comes home? James. That's his name. Who is that? So there's Frank. I see Frank. And a couple other people. Luca, you're making gross sounds. Hey, how about you go? Go on. If he keeps chewing, I'll have to kick him out because it's going to sound real gross in the background. What's in here? What do we have here? Now, Chloe, you better put this all I should back. Check the computer or some of those files laying around. Oh, this didn't amount to anything? Look, there's a knife. Okay, you definitely should not be touching that stuff. Nope. <laughs> She's so violent. <laughs> it's the big one. What? I don't get it. Why'd she say that? She was so violently shaking that. Um, what's this? James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Francis? Frank's real name is Francis. That's my grandma's name. Odd. I've never heard that name used. Best dad. That stuff is all okay. politics anyway. All right, he's he's just gonna keep chewing. This sucks. Hmm. Wait. Did it just make a sound? <clears throat> Luca, you're messing everything up, dude. Okay, so now he's pawing at the door, like let me in, but can't come in, dude. Ooh, there's something in there. A key? Sweet. Yep. The secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Okay. Oh, how do I do this? Mikey. Um, hey, Chloe. Thanks again for visiting. Drew says good luck out there. Thanks. Good luck to him, too. Chloe? Yeah? You're stronger than anything. Hope so. Oh, Mikey. So sweet. Locked drawer. Okay, well that's probably where it's at. But let's make sure we don't miss anything. What's this? Sheldon. Who's that? Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Sheldon. Sheldon. What's this? I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. <laughs> okay. I'm super itchy. I just got my hair cut. You know when the little hairs are just everywhere? I guess let's open this. Graffiti? Yes. Just do it. Oh, wait. Oh, we just broke into his office. That's gonna give us away. Oh, uh, whatever. Too late. Secret boo stash? Uh... 
How do we pretend like we weren't in here if we just did that? <laughs> James sure keeps lots of files on people. Okay, well, I guess she's not scared of it. Let's open this locked drawer. Welcome to Shadyville. It's super strange he keeps it locked like that. But I guess it's so Chloe can't find, or not Chloe, Rachel can't find it. There's a phone probably to call her on. I want to look at the letters though first. Sarah sent all these letters and James never gave them to Rachel? To my Rachel. So messed up. Oh, oh, okay. To my Rachel, my name is Sarah and I am your biological mother. The first thing you should know about me is that giving you up was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time, something I've been battling with ever since. That battle has taken everything from me, most importantly you. But now I'm in a place where I know I can be a part of your life. It is more than I deserve, I know, but I would love to try if you want to. Please take your time and if you have anything to say or any questions, hearing from you would mean the world. I love you very much and I hope to meet you soon. Love, Sarah. Oh, no. So, Sarah doesn't even know that James has been keeping it from Rachel. Dearest Rachel, I hope it's alright for me to write you again. I haven't heard from you yet, and that's okay. It really is. I just feel like I have so much to catch up on, you know? I don't remember much of my life. It's a sim symptom of the choices I've made. So much is lost. Except you, I remember everything about you. The crinkle of your nose, the depths of your eyes, the knowing smile that somehow made it seem like you'd seen it all before. I can call it up whenever I want, as clear as a summer day. I was so afraid, afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you, that I would screw you up the way I screwed up so much in my life. Now I know, of course, that my fear was wrong. Far worse than being a ma bad mother is never knowing what kind of mother I would have been. I'm sorry if you can find the courage to forgive me. Maybe we can start over. Oh, this is sad. Beautiful Rachel, I re read somewhere, maybe a fortune cookie, that you can never step in the same river twice. Because after it moves, it's not really the same river anymore. It's something new. Do you think that's true? I try to picture you reading these letters. I wonder what your reactions are, how I might seem to you, this mystery mother. I don't blame you for not writing back. You will write when you are ready. I imagine your dad is still wary of all this. That's okay. James is protective of you just as I would be, but he's also a kind and compassionate person. That was a problem, really wasn't cut out for him or the life he wanted to give you. I knew it then, even when he didn't. I know we can never have the same relationship we should have had, but I hope we can have something new. The Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. Yeah, but you can't really base that off of a letter. We don't know anything about her. James, I understand your reluctance to let me speak with Rachel, but don't you think the decision should be to should belong to her. Everything I have done over the past year has been to prove to you that I am ready to be in Rachel's life. I have gone through rehab, I am in recovery, and I am no longer in need of money or assistance. Well, that's interesting. I know I can be a positive influence for her. I am coming to Arcadia Bay in the hopes that we can at least meet to discuss this so you can see how much I've changed. If you have any feelings left for me at all, you will give me a fair chance to prove myself to you and hopefully to Rachel too. You were the love of my life once. Please don't take this away from me, Sarah. Oh, I feel real bad. So I wonder if Sarah knows what he... Oh, wait, was there more? Sarah's... This... Oh, okay, there's more. Um, Kosterman and Shapiro cease and desist. Dear Mr. Amber, I represent Sarah Gerhardt. Ge Gerhardt. Lawful mother of Rachel Amber and petitioner for partial custody of Rachel Amber, her lawful daughter. Please take notice that Oregon law requires current guardians of minors to respond in good faith to any and all lawful petitions by parents to reestablish contact with their children. On behalf of my client, I hereby demand that you cease and desist from unlawfully denying contact between Sarah and Rachel. You are now considered to be on notice that continuing refusal will result in a petition for suit filed under Oregon law. Ooh, 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 she brought the law into it, which I mean, I don't blame her. So this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. Stop. Yeah, void. Okay. Yeah. So she's been sending him back. 
Well, that's super interesting. That's a new twist to the story. Can we, um, can we look at this phone? What is going on? I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. What do you mean? Oh, okay. So, can I go up? Oh wow, we gotta go way up. Way, way up. Me, so this is James. I'm told you can help me with my problem. Crossing the line, eh? Let's talk. Will call tonight. I found who you were looking for. Call you in 15. Well, this isn't a charity. I'm gonna need you to do what we talked about. I can't. Sure you can, because I talked to your girl and she has a big mouth. Turns out she's not so easy. We're going to need to be more hands-on. What? What? Don't hurt her. Relax, I've got my best guy on it. Is he talking to the drug dealers? How's your daughter? You know she attacked me first, right? You really should teach her to behave better. Nothing. Guess you don't need this taken care of anymore. He's talking to Damon. What the actual F is going on? James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. Uh, what were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? No. Whatever is They're going on. They're talking about Rachel. I need to see I if think, Damon right? knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? You'll pay. Where is Sarah? I, you're going to have to get money because he is not going to just tell you. Oh, you paid for what you did to Rachel. Oops. Oops. Oh, let's see. Let's see. That's not what I thought he was going to say. <laughs> Why would it go up? Y'all, what's going on? Go up. Well, I guess we'll never know what he said. Well, it says you still need me. It's simple. Either you do what I want or your little problem becomes a big problem. Now, did you take care of the evidence or not? Shit. What do I say? I did. You first? You first. I know you're new at this, so I'll give you a pass. Don't fuck with me. Let's see proof of the evidence. What do you mean? Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell oh. me where Sarah is. Oops. Unless I send him a picture. Yep. It's probably in here. Shit. There's the knife. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Chloe, it's probably the knife. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. Oh. Okay, well I guess I should do that then. Uh, maybe there's something... Well, let's see, we had Frank. What was, who's this, Sheldon? Sheldon. No. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? Not him. Who is this file? James sure keeps lots of files on people. Not this person. What's on his computer? Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. Of course I was angry, but I understood your need to protect her. It's your prerogative as a parent, but sending that man to talk sense into me? Threaten me? You're losing the moral high ground here. What kind of way is that for a DA to act? What would the voters say? I have the right to meet my daughter and the lawyer I spoke with agrees. But more importantly, Rachel has the right to know her mother. Oh man, he's totally lost it. He's totally lost it, guys. Okay, maybe Frank's got something in his file. I'm getting stuck on things. James has a file on Frank? Nothing? Okay. I'd love to read this. But I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. We've already heard all this stuff. 
Maybe it's in the crime map. Arcadia Base, least wanted. Uh, crime report. There we go. We found it, guys. We found it. Okay, after a verbal altercation with the victim, Merrick brandished a fire poker, hitting the victim several times about the head before fleeing the scene. Merrick's gloves were recovered and entered into evidence. 9-11 call was... 9-11. 9 call was received at 10-21 p.m. and an officer arrived on scene at 10-38. Who did he hit with a poker? Okay, well, it's the gloves. I would have totally gotten that wrong, so I'm glad I looked. These. What? That's evidence, right? Yeah, now you fucking destroy it. Why are you so bad at this? I'll get right on that. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Yeah, but then he's set free. Couldn't you find like a different glove or something? How do we look at our objective again? Oh, what's this wastebasket? I'll figure out here. a way to burn this. There we go. Do this outside the house though, Chloe. You're gonna set off the fire alarms, girlfriend. Fire is a reoccurring theme in this episode. Well, really, in the whole before the storm. Oof. Better not touch that again. Okay. Oh god, don't set their house on fire. You've taken care of it, good. So... Since you're destroying evidence, might as well tell me which of my guys was a snitch. No. No more. No one. No clue. No more. Where is she? No more game. Sorry, Chief, but I think you're going to do what I asked. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'd rather deal with your problem yourself. What else can I do? Damn. I hope James has something here to what if it's tell Frank? me who Damon's informant is. I mean... So I need to find... Okay, chill out. Planning supper. What time do you think you'll be home? Don't wait for me. Oh, <laughs> Sweetheart, we don't get enough family time as it is. Does Rachel want to join us? She's very welcome to. Mom, I just can't make it tonight. Sorry. Chloe, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, love you. Love you too. At least she's answering her back pretty well. Which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Um, what I was gonna say is that, yeah, Frank might be a drug dealer, but he doesn't seem like a bad dude and that Damon guy's gonna kill him. Okay. Or try to. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. So it's not him. Okay. Well, what about this guy? This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Okay. Who's this guy? I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Oh, all right, well, I guess I don't get it. I guess. Oh, man. What? This, this was not here before. This snitch. Oh. He was so cool to me at the mill. Yeah, he was pretty nice. wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. Oh. Oh. Probably this guy. Yeah, like, look, let's look. This is that asshole who was selling firewalk shirts. Okay. This guy let me into the mill. Yeah, he cool seems like dude. a nice guy. 
Sheldon. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Yeah, this guy sucked. And it's not Frank. Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. So let's do him. Oh, am I looking at the right one? I'm scared. This Could guy. Could this douchebag be the yeah. snitch Damon's yeah. Foreman is Sheldon Pike. Shit, really? I barely know that guy. And now he's gonna wish we never met. Good work. Oh. Oh. Guess all that leaves is our hand off. Show me you have my payment and I'll tell you where to meet. Payment? This guy. Fuck. Yeah, this guy. Come on. How much? I have it. I've got your money. Good. Send me a pic and we're all set. Oh! Here's hoping James have... already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? Wow, we are really searching through everything in here. Sawdust? What? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. Um, investigate. He didn't cover that up very well, did he now? For a DA, he just had like the wood shavings everywhere. Uh, okay. Holy shit. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. That could be going to Rachel's college. All right, good work, and now here's your girl, ready to go. What does that Fuck, mean? Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Is he trying to kill, did we just pay him to kill her? Bring me the package and we can finish the job. <gasps> Whoa, he's dirty. Let her go, I'll be right there. If we look like we have cold feet, it's going to be bad, so... Oh! I'll be right there. I'm away, don't do anything in the meantime. You really are new at this. Better hurry, this chick's starting to get on my nerves. Holy okay. shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Yeah, he knows. Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. What do you mean you still have time? Fuck. We gotta go. I need to get there fast. Yeah, we gotta go. <gasps> Elliot? Oh, thank you. Hey! God. Elliot! I thought it was James. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I don't know, dude. This is Rachel's house, right? Okay. Did you really just follow me here? First of all, if someone tried to block me in a room, I'd be really mad, like, instantly. You followed me helping her. I can't really talk about it. Rachel... Rachel needs my help. I'm sure she does. I'm more concerned about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. Elliot, come what on, is... dude. Ah. Elliot, God! <laughs> Elliot... Put that down. Quit that. You have no idea what you're dealing with. <sighs> and you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... I don't like... You wouldn't understand. How he's acting. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Rachel's mother, none of your business. It is serious. You know what? Tell him. Just I, tell him. I can't talk much about it. He's not gonna calm down. It has to do talk. with Rachel's mother. Her real mother. And that explains you breaking into the DA's home and having this? Yeah, it's not mine. Believe it or not, yes. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just... Take a step back. No. 
You need um, to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? I need to, I don't need to do shit, you, dude. You don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. Wait, when was that? Who is that with? Oh, at the mill? Is that what he's talking about? Where the guy came and started pushing me around and stuff? Cause that wasn't her fault at all. She definitely saved me. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop, stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. Yeah, oh, it was my choice, she defended me. It was her choice. It was. I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end, as usual. You I don't mean, understand. I... You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? God, oh, look, I, I'm sorry I ditched you for the play, but... This isn't about that. S seriously, man, you, you need to shut the fuck up before... I've been quiet long enough. Oh, this is a big fight, look, guys. Rachel is an amazing actress, and I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real, and I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise. I can see no why he thinks all these things. Me. Like from no? an outside perspective. Just look where you are now. A high school I dropout. Don't blame, man. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. I think he's going about it a little it bit just as wrong, easily though. could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened. He just likes her so much. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. Look, <laughs> I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. Okay. Whoa, whoa, he's... What does that mean? Yeah. It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now. For once. Okay. Okay, what the actual crap is going on, dude? Grab that snow globe and bash his ass in the head. You don't talk to me like that. Calm him, walk past him. Alright, you guys, in this situation, being a female... Walking past him is going to ignite him more, I feel like. Let's let's calm him down. Elliot, please. I know you're upset. But... Uh, I'm oh not my god! Upset. Never mind. I'm trying to help you. Um, call for help, walk past him. There's no one out there though. Who's gonna help us? I guess call for help. You better pick that glass up right now. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! Man, I have been creeped out by Elliot. We have a lot to talk from about. From the very beginning. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. Chloe, there's so many weapons in that room that I'm seeing, girlfriend. That lamp could easily knock him out. <laughs> oh. Oh, he locked her in there. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. To succeed, or blah, blah. To succeed in back talk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. So one thing I want to say real quick is, so I have been kind of creeped out by him from the very beginning. I thought the way he was acting was a little weird. And uh, some of you guys were kind of like, you know, be kind to him. He just has a crush on her. And I started to see that. And I was like, okay, yeah, I do feel a little bad because 
he does like her a lot and they used to be really close and now Rachel's come along. Now I don't feel bad for him. I do not feel bad for this dude at all. So let's do this, guys. We need to get out of here safe. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Oh, this exact location the DA lives here, here at the Amber House. Yep. You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Oh, I don't Rachel know. Rachel is right. dangerous. You need to realize that. My life is at risk. I feel threatened. You're keeping me here. Yeah, faster, You're right, better. Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is at great risk. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. Help me, please. Not you. I need help. You're right. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, oh, I don't like him. Hurry up. I wish I could leave, attempting to move on. Oh, wait. I just need things to hurry up and get here. Now. Oh, that might have blown it. You're acting strange. I blew it. What's going on? What? Nothing. I. Oh shit, you what guys, you... I blew it. Ugh, you bitch. What is wrong with this guy? Can't you see? Please I just want to help up. you. You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel. I mean, look how far you're going. This is dude. what I'm talking about. No, you idiot. What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. I can't believe that honestly just happened. That was like the most tense moment I have felt in a long time in this game, honestly. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's like messed up to say, but I enjoyed that, even though it was really Totally burnt up. The whole forest is gone. So much destruction. All because Rachel got angry at her dad, who's been lying to her all her life. And he's still lying. Yes, he is. Hey, being a dad's tough. That doesn't justify what he's done. I'm just saying, I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. Huh. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about Something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? Um. Uh, everybody lies, maybe? I. I just don't know, dude. I don't. I don't know you. I just don't know anymore. That's what makes it so horrible. 
James Amber, the perfect dad, and James Amber, the scheming asshole, would act exactly the same around Rachel. Oh, sweetheart. You're a terrible liar, so I couldn't have been much better, right? Would you love me less? Depends what it was. Of course not. Maybe a little. Oh, man, that's tough. I feel like depends what it was. But I also feel, of course not. I don't know. I guess it depends on what it was. That's the trouble, sweetheart. The truth's risky. And the idea of you loving me even a little less, I don't think I'd ever want to risk that. Hmm. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Yes, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? way I wish you told me what is she do you think she knows I wish you told me what I wish you told me when you could have you don't like the perfect relationship we had I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up No word. My ride, my tunes. <laughs> Am I seriously going in to face Demon Merrick? All for Rachel. Crazy. Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, we don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. What she's gonna do when she gets there to be honest y'all oh the dog scared me how is she gonna trick him i mean he stabbed rachel he's he, he, he would kill chloe and he wouldn't even blink an eye is that frank's rv too uh that's interesting Yeah, she sees it. Shit. Is that blood? Oh no. Chloe, you can't just be standing out there. If he sees you, you're screwed. Frank? Oh, last time we saw Frank, they were fighting. Is Frank alive? Well, we know he's alive. But he might be messed up. Frank! I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. I wish you could just call the cops. Whoa. Oh yeah, the mill got caught on fire. Where the hell is Sarah? Okay, sorry, I had to stop it for a second.
couch. What about it? Frank's couch is toast. <laughs> this place is totally messed up. Bomb. Glad to see the bomb made it. Sheet metal. Move it, huh? Where's the homicidal drug dealer, spooky deerhead? So are we supposed to go back? Because the stairs look like it's messed up. Oh, there's a phone. Sheldon, you gotta believe me, I need... I'm not a goddamn snitch. Who the F told you that? Right. Shh. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye bye. No. What the fuck? Don't do that to her. He's trying to I just want to meet my daughter. Turn her back into Can't a junkie. Can't you understand? Why does your he? Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. Can we just pay him to leave her alone? No, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. We gotta do something. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? Paying you to leave us alone. I've got your money. Can we talk about this? I've got your money. Can we talk about this? He cares about money. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say- No! Oh, no! Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. Chloe. What the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just trying to help. Get away from her. I said shut the fuck up. Just kill him. Just kill him. No, 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 no. No. Did I miss out, guys? Go to your fucking happy place. Aww. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices. Did I miss out? Or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Oh my god. Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Chloe, get up, girlfriend. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. Oh! 
Frank. Where's Frank? Or demon? Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. What? Sit. Sarah, are you okay? It sounds like we're in a dream. We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. Know about what? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did, hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that- Rachel can never know. That's bullcrap. I don't understand. I don't understand. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James who... is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. This is messed up, you guys. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. She deserves the truth. She deserves to meet you. I think she deserves to meet her. And just what is James protecting her from? You... She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken. You're strong. I feel like everybody's broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? So she did know. Okay. You're here now. That's what matters. What do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father. I lost my best friend. I lost my father. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. That's so messed up that he did no that. No more sadness. No more grief. The rest Why of her life. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? It's just... Ever. You quit for a year. Rachel needs you. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you quit for a year. Rachel needs you. Because Rachel I, needs you? I, I don't know anything about addiction, but I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. How can you say that? You don't even know her. They are far from perfect. I thought my dad was perfect. I don't know, I thought my dad was perfect? I used to think my dad was perfect. But now I realize he was probably just as messed up as everyone. And it doesn't make me love him any less. That's a good one. That's a nice thought. It is. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. Well, <laughs> he doesn't we're not deserve saying that. about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? Yes. You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Um, I can't lie to her. Remember your letter. Don't you want to see her? Remember your letter. What was her letter? About trying, like, talking to her? I'm gonna ask that one. The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You I did, I You don't have to make the same mistake <laughs> twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But you don't need to be But there's that. one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. Okay, but that's still- So please. Doesn't mean you can't go see her. Tell her I was never here. Oh. Let her have what peace she can without me. I don't know. Wait. I don't agree with it. Don't leave. I'll take care of her. I think she's gonna leave anyways. And so if she's gonna leave, then I'm gonna tell her to at least give her some peace of mind that I'll take care of her. I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe.
I hope I made the right choice. I feel so bad for her mom. I get it. I get it all. I kind of wish that Sarah could have at least seen Rachel once, you know? I understand not telling Rachel about her dad. I do. I mean, he's dirty, but he did it all to protect her. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. James is gonna hate us when he sees his office, though. <laughs> I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. Well, I guess maybe... We'll be right out. Maybe James will just think it's Damon who broke into the office and destroyed his evidence and stuff and took his money. That would make sense, but... Man, I feel really bad for Sarah. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Horrible. It went horrible, Rachel. And I can't even tell Rachel, you. Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Tell Rachel everything. Protect Rachel from the truth. Protect her. Hey. Doesn't feel good, guys, but. What's wrong? I don't think life works. I failed you. That other way. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny. You seemed so confident. Oh, don't belittle her. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah. Me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. I think it's gonna of mess course. her up anyways, you know? Oh, I man. know. That was tough. Wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that? Read some letters. Because... Why should she be any different from the rest of us? Oh, Chloe. Making me feel all emotional. All the devils are here is my trophy. Peace. 
Rachel, the truth, 49%. What? I didn't tell her. Oh, oh, okay. You didn't tell Rachel the truth, 51%. So we're at like almost half and half of people made that choice. That was a really hard one. And the crappy thing is like, I, I'm the type of person who believes strongly in telling the truth, even when it hurts. Sometimes I can come off a little bit brash because of how honest I am. It, it, I don't know, you know, when someone is just so, almost when they're like too open, it can come off wrong. I guess the way I view this situation is 
I don't know what it's like to be a parent. I only have a fur child. I did not give birth to him. I don't know what it's like to raise a child. I feel like the love that you have for them is something that you cannot compare to anything else and the only time you'll know that is when you have a kid. I know if I was a parent that I would protect my child at all costs. And it's, it's so messed up and this story is just so like, there's so many ways you could interpret it because the dad was doing that. He was protecting his child at all costs and if that meant throwing Sarah under the bus, he was going to do it. It's like, do I agree with what he did? No, absolutely not. That is a horrible thing to do to an addict. It's really hard to think about, but when it comes down to it, I think she had a great point. You don't want to ruin Rachel's life forever. And telling her that her dad is a horrible person is going to ruin her life forever. That's the only stable home she has to go to. Obviously, this is an extreme situation, you know, there's no way to relate to this situation of what James did. Even though he was in the wrong, Chloe's got to protect her girl. And look how happy Rachel was. She was so happy. We might as well discuss the rest of it because at the very end, we saw Rachel and Chloe having a blast. It was so sweet to watch that. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I think that it started a little too slow, and I'll admit that. There were moments where I felt like things could have been sped up a little bit. It was like everybody was talking in slow motion, and some of the tasks were a little bit mundane to me, but it wasn't bad by any means. And I think that this last part in particular that I played just now gave me everything I wanted. It may have not been the ending that everybody would like to have seen. They probably wanted to see Sarah and Rachel interact with each other. But this ending, although it's not like the fairy tale ending, gave us a lot to think about. I mean, I'm probably going to turn this game off and think about this for a while. It's really heavy. It is. It's a heavy, heavy ending. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about it. I know that my opinions are going to be different from yours, and that's totally okay. I want to know if you did tell her the truth, what happened in the end, why you chose to tell her the truth, and vice versa. If you didn't tell Rachel like I did, why not? I don't know. I don't feel like I was let down. Some people were saying that it was let down, but I don't think it was. I liked it. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Oh, this is that guy. You guys, this popped up in the very end. I didn't, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, bye guys.